So this is a new segment we're calling Wine 101 because we're gonna be answering some of the questions that you have about wine but maybe we're afraid to ask. Well, I'm gonna ask them because I've got my good friend Jody Bogle from Bogle Vineyards here in Sacramento, the Delta region of Sacramento, to ask and she will answer even my stupidest <laughs> questions. She will answer. No stupid questions. <laughs> okay, good, okay, good. So, you know, when I do wine taste, I do find in the tasting room, there are a lot of wine terminology that I'm not quite sure I know exactly what it is. You probably hear a lot of it down the tasting room here too. Absolutely. Uh, the descriptors that are used for wine can sometimes be a little daunting for people, but let's take that out of it and make it yes. accessible. Let's let's make it easy for folks. Let's start with our Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, I'll give you a glass there. One of the things that I think is so interesting is there are so many terms about wine mm -hmm. that are actually anatomical, ah, right? Yes, there is. So there the first we're going to talk about is the nose of a wine. Okay. When you take your first smell in the glass, what you're bringing up is called the nose. This okay. is the nose. Okay. Sauvignon Blanc typically oh, has yes. a very, very um, gri green uh -huh. grass, hay, fresh cut hay, some citrus and lime. Yes. I love, I get a little lemongrass in our Sauvignon You have Blanc. to have a good nose, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the power of persuasion is always very important. Someone will say, oh, I think I get a little tangerine. Me there too, it is. And there me it too. Is. That's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> so that's the nose. That's the nose, yeah. okay, I have heard that before and that's what that means. I have also heard um, the palate and how some yep. taste on, the, on your palate. Absolutely, so palate describes mm -hmm. the um, feel of the wine okay. on your tongue. Okay. Chardonnay is a great example for us to talk about palate because the Chardonnay is going to have a very silky texture to it. It's mm. from the malolactic fermentation that this wine goes through. Oh, okay. So if you take a sip. Mm. Let the wine run over your tongue. Yes. And it just kind of caresses it. Yes. That is the palate. That's the palate. Mm -hmm. Light, smooth, buttery, mm -hmm. that kind of sort of thing. Absolutely. Okay. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Okay. And then I hear this all the time, the body. The body of the a wine. The body of a wine, that's right. The body's kind of the meat and potatoes. Okay. What is in the middle of that wine? So you, you get the nose, you're gonna have the, the mm. palate, that, that texture when you first taste it, but the body is the weight okay. of the wine. So I can. our Petite Syrah, we've actually been growing our Petite Syrah since 1968. Oh, wow. Petite Syrah is known for its body, okay. often described as voluptuous uh -huh. or luscious. Uh -huh. So when you take a sip of this wine, there's gonna be some weight to it. Okay. I've also heard, but now correct me if I'm wrong, the body referred to as maybe the difference between skim milk or whole milk or something like that too? Absolutely, okay. so uh, skim milk is a little thinner, mm -hmm. um, but a whole milk is a little more like cream, mm -hmm. has a little more weight to it. Well, a little more, and so ooh. that's that's what you're gonna get, uh, especially with Petite Syrah. Okay. The last one's my favorite. Mine too! <laughs> well, we're best friends, we're we just became best friends. <laughs> We're gonna talk about the legs okay. of our essential red. Okay. When you swirl in the glass and you allow it to sit, you're gonna see streaks of the um, wine come down the glass. The streaks that you see are, refer really to the viscosity of the wine. Okay. And those are often termed legs. The legs, okay. <laughs> and so does that have to do with the sugar, or the sweetness? You know, it has to do with th with that viscosity and the richness of the wine. Okay. Um, oh, I see it now, I know. That's mm -hmm. my favorite one. When you see it, you're like, okay, I get it. I get it now when people say legs, mm -hmm. like, I get it. I get so it. it's very interesting. Uh, wine, we all know, is very romantic. And here you go. You've got all these wines that are describing um, these uh, terminology, hopefully that allows people to enjoy the wines and not be so daunted by it. Absolutely, and the whole point of going in to taste wine is to ask questions. People are there to answer them, so don't be afraid to ask questions when you go in to taste wine. Absolutely not. A tasting room staff is going to help, wants to educate you, wants to share the information about the wines, about the winery. Mm -hmm. They want you to enjoy your experience. Absolutely. So ask questions. There's there's no stupid questions. Thank you. Um, ask them all, <laughs> and uh, hopefully the tasting room staffers will will guide you to the wines that you will like based on your conversation. Absolutely. Well, thank you, my friend. Well, cheers. Cheers.